today we are going to be doing another palette bingo. You guys know I love those. I know you guys love these as well. So the palettes I want to use today, I want to use two of them. And I want to use the new BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette as well as the original Festival palette. So we're going to be doing a look with both of these today, which I'm really excited about because I really like the original Festival palette. I haven't used it in a while, but I'm really happy to pull it out again. So I think what I'm going to do, since both of these have 20 shades in them, I don't want to go like 1 through 40 when I'm picking my colors because obviously I don't want to end up only using one of the palettes or using like five shades from one and one from the other. So I'm going to just do three shades from each palette. I guess that could be a good idea. Um, I know usually I do five in my palette bingos, but since we have two palettes, it just makes more sense to do six and make it even so we get the same amount of shades from both palettes. So I'm going to pull up my random number generator now and we're going to record and I guess I will... Let's start off with the original. So let's see what we get in this one. And we are going to generate the first number. And that's going to be four. I'm just going to generate the first three. So we have four, 12, and 11. So the first shade is going to be this one, which is number four. And then we have 11, which is this one. <laughs> as well as 12. So we have three shimmers to start off, so that could be interesting. I was kind of hoping I would get a matte from that palette, so I'm kind of disappointed in that, honestly. And I'm not really happy with what these shapes together either. Um, let me build this one up a little bit more so you can actually see it. Wow, those just don't go together at all. So let's see what we get in the other palette now. So I'm just going to continue, so let's see what we get. We have number 11 again, but that's in the other palette, so that's fine. 11, 8, and 5. 11, 8, and 5. And shade number 5 is going to be another shimmer. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, and 11, right? So 8, 9, 10, 11. This is going to be very interesting. We have one matte here, and it's a very, very light pink. Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do with this? That is the most crazy and unique and challenging and doesn't go together color story that I've ever gotten, I think. So yeah, let me let me just go ahead and prime my eyes and think about this for a second and then I guess we'll start applying some shadows. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So here's my thinking when I look at these shadows. Um, I basically have two more on the warm tone side. So I have this gold and then I have this kind of greeny black duochrome i don't even know how to really explain this but it's almost like a black with a green base to it and to me it also has a little bit of gold and then we have a more of a silver one a pink shimmer a pink matte and a blue so i think what i want to do is i want to bundle all of the cool tones together so i'll probably do the cool tones on my lid just because i need to use this matte in my transition so that just kind of makes sense so I guess I will start just by putting this into my crease and then we can kind of take it from there. I still don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm thinking I kind of want to do another big wing that I've been doing lately because it just sort of makes sense. So I'm first going to start off by taking Pop in the Color Festival palette, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to heavily pack this into my crease. Alright, so we are one shade down, five to go. So what do I want to do next? I guess what I'll do is I need to put this one, this one, and this one on my lid. So I'm thinking kind of if I want to like sketch out a blue wing and then I can kind of transition all of these on top of the wing or do I just want to do a black wing? Hmm. Okay, so here is what I want to do. I want to use this gray because I feel like this gray is going to transition really nicely into the shadow right here. So I'm going to take this lipstick by Jeffree Star. It's in the shade Medusa. And then I'm going to do one of my uh, big wings that I've been doing lately. So let me just show you. And then I'm going to outline, why am I not sitting in the middle? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to outline the wing here. So I'm starting like above the hood of my eye where my fold is. And I'm using this to just sketch up going upwards 
from my lower lash line and just really extending this all the way almost up to my brow. And then when I have that line, I'm going to open my eye and then I'm going to connect this to the lid. And then before I fill this in, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side just so I can kind of make sure that both sides are even. And my eyes are so uneven that it's really tough to get these to look the same way because the angle of my lower lash line on this side is going up much straighter than it is on this side. So I can't really follow the line here. So it's going to look a bit like this. I think that is looking pretty even. And now that I have this down, I'm going to start by just making pretty much a straight line from the tip of my wing and connect it to the top of my hood here on my eye. Obviously keeping my eyes open. And now you can see I basically have a big wing and when I look up, obviously it's not connected at all, but I'm going to just go ahead and fill this in with the gray as well. I'm also just filling in the last like part of my wing here. I'm also taking the tiniest bit of concealer and I'm just going to use this to kind of erase the uh, pink that I got down here as well as making sure that the wing is looking sharp. And then just tapping a little bit of powder right over where I put on that concealer. All right, moving on, I'm going to now cut my crease, which I feel like I might not have to do this since I am going in with all shimmers on my lid, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I feel like it just gives me a better guideline of where to put the shadows, especially in my crease so that I can connect to the wing. And to do that, I'm gonna use my P. Louise base and I'm just going to line the upper lash line here and then I'm gonna look up and I will just basically follow the transfer. So I feel like I cut my crease too high today. Usually when I do this kind of look, I don't cut it above my normal crease, but it did kind of do that on accident. So I'm not sure how exactly this is going to turn out. I almost feel like I need to cut it even higher now, just to make sure that it's looking even like everywhere. So this might not end up looking the best, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. So I actually like how I cut my crease a bit better on this side, so I'm going to go in with a bit more of that pink and just sort of bring this down a bit more. I know I'm going back and forth a lot, but this is not a tutorial, so let me do my thing. Okay, that already looks so much better. So let's see, what do I do next? So I guess I'll take this shadow right here, which was... I'm very confused right now. I think this was from the Weekend Festival palette, and I think it was Carnival. So the shadow right here, and I'm going to put that on the outer third or so of my eye. And I'll just be connecting that basically to the tip of the wing here. And where these two colors meet, I'm just going to try to work on mixing them in together. Okay, so next up I'm going to take, I guess, this one right here, which was the bright shimmery blue from the Color Festival palette, so that's called Hollow. So I'm going to take this and put that basically on the rest of my lid, but I'm going to leave a bit of room just right in my inner corner. Definitely going to have to spray this because this is not super intense. So let's see, where are we at? We've used this shadow, this shadow, this shadow, and this shadow. No, we have not used this one. So we basically have these three right here left. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start by taking the shimmery shade right here and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then for the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going to use the gold. And then right in my inner corner, I'll probably pop this one to kind of connect it to. So let me try to do that. I'm not thrilled about how these colors are going to look together, especially this one. I feel like this one just doesn't really go with the rest of this, but 
I don't really have a choice, so that's just what we're gonna do. So first off, I'm gonna take center stage, which is this shadow, and I'm going to use my Morphe M149 brush, and I'm going to spray this. And then, like I said, just gonna put that on the outer part of my lower lash line here. About halfway across. See, I'm kind of wondering what would happen if I left a bit of a negative space here. Just to kind of wing this out a bit more and create a bit of a triangle on the outer corner. Like, this is probably going to look really weird, but that's kind of cool. I think I kind of like that. I think I like that. So I'm actually feeling a lot better about this look now. I actually think this might come together, especially if I put like some dots or something right in here when I'm done. I'm gonna have to just think about this and just finish up the rest of the look and see where we end up. So next up, I'm gonna take the kind of orangey gold shade and that was from the original Festival palette and it's called Flash, so this one right here. And I'm gonna put this in the inner part of my lower lash line. And then to finish up for the very inner corner, I'm going to go in with Spirit, which was this one right here. So it's kind of like a blue-pink duochrome, I think. And I can't say I love having to put this next to a gold, but like I said, I don't really have that much of a choice. So I'm just going to pop that on the rest of my lid where I don't have any shadow yet, just connecting it with the blue, and then just a little bit right in the inner corner. So this is going to be it for shadows. I'm not sure if I want to do anything else with this look. I wish I could ask you guys. I wish I could like call a friend or something because I feel like something is missing. But I don't know what. Like I feel like I want to make this more of a futuristic kind of look. So I think I'm going to do some dots. And I want to do a couple of dots here just using my liquid liner. And then I think I want to do like two white dots, like one on each side here, like very big. I think that's going to look crazy, but I think it also might look kind of cool. So I have a sh very sad story I want to share with you guys. So yesterday I was using my Better Than Sex liner and I went to put the cap back on and I literally like frayed the whole thing. I don't know if anyone else has ever done this. So now there's like a giant stray just like sticking out of my liner and I'm not gonna be able to use this anymore. I don't know if anyone else is as clumsy as me and literally can't put a pen back into the cap, but that's what happens. So I'm back to using my other liner, which I'm actually kind of sad about because I really like that Too Faced liner. So I guess what I'll do is I want to make two dots, so I'll probably just start on why you can't see anything. So let me start on this side. So they're not a hundred percent even because that's tough to do, but I think I'm just gonna call it good. I don't want to mess with another one because then I feel like the further out you go, the more obvious it's going to be that it's not even. So let me find my White Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. And I'm going to take this, which is Drug Lord, on my nail art tool. And then I think I want to put that like right in here. And I'm gonna make this pretty big. Now, is it the nicest circle in the world? Definitely not, but it's just gonna have to do. Hopefully I'll be able to do something even remotely close on this side. I think that's even. We're just gonna call that even. I kind of want to do another one. I feel like once I start with this, I could just like go like ever, but I want to do a small one. Just right underneath, just like that. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. So I guess what I'll do is I'm gonna finish up with some liner and mascara, of course. What do I wanna do in my waterline? I don't know if I really have anything that's going to go with this. What if I use this? This is Zodiac by Urban Decay and it's kind of like a metallic dark green. I feel like that would look good with the uh, part that I have on the outer. What am I even saying? On the outer part of my lower lash line. 
So I'm going to put some of this on, then I'm going to do some lighter mascara and I will be right back and you will see how this looks when it's all done. Okay, so this is going to be the eye look all complete. Honestly, I think this looks really cool and not at all what I expected when I sat down to film this and especially not when I saw these swatches, I was like, what? But I kind of like this and I kind of just want to go all out with lipstick as well and I want to use that gray that I used on my wings. So I'm going to again take Medusa and I'm going to put this on because I literally have no idea what else I would do with this look because there's warm tones and cool tones both in here and I don't really know if I would have a nude that I would be happy pairing with this. So we're just going to go with the gray. Let's just go all out today. All right, what do we think? Um, I quite like this if I can say so myself. Am I allowed to say that I killed it today because I really think I killed it? I mean, look at this. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop tooting my own horn and I hope you guys like this as well. Uh, let me know if you want to see more multi palette bingos. I really enjoy doing these. Is there a specific brand that you want to see me do this with? I'm thinking Juvia's Place could be kind of fun. Maybe I could even do a using one shade in every Juvia's Place palette. Like, I don't know why I'm suggesting that because that's going to be a pain in the ass to film with like 10 palettes in front of me, but that could be kind of cool. So yeah, let me know down below if you have any suggestions for what kind of palette bingos that you want to see in the future. If you want me to switch it up and do something different, also let me know. Let me know what you think of this look. I think I did pretty good, if I can say so myself. So thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.